everyone. Welcome back, everyone. I'm extremely, extremely honored, happy, and humbled to have a wonderful guest in the studio. We've got Lisa Rogers, Rogers a style and design expert for Dunpar Homes, and she has uh, done an amazing job with my set already. No. I, I was saying before we were speaking to her, she's going to want to come in here and change everything, but welcome to the studio, Thank Lisa. Thank you very much. I'm very happy to be here. It's great. So you've brought a lot of things here, and now I'm looking yeah. at all these colors, and they're very earthy, and they're very natural. So yeah. let's talk about some of the trends in spring uh, well, style. Well, it's interesting because you and I were talking earlier about this, and it's mm. funny how I'm, I am cross in both worlds between fashion and interior design, but yep. they both have these really common themes, mm -hmm. and those themes of color and direction really reflect on each other, and, and they really have a lot of similarity yeah. in what's going on. And what I've noticed is we've gone through this last number of years of a very contemporary kind of look. Right. Very right. sleek, very contemporary, yeah. very cool, and very beautiful. Mm -hmm. You know, big stainless refrigerators and clean white counters but now that's all very much changing really? and it's a much more earthy eclectic kind of vibe it's right. sort of contemporary meets you know sort of this grounded nice warm rich kind of a palette right. with a lot of texture right you know and whether it's in woven baskets mm -hmm. or whether it's in sort of rusted kind of metals yeah. and bronze metals mm -hmm. and and uh, things like a refrigerator now comes in like a black matte steel or really? a gray, dark gray right. steel. So everything is changing and the palette is changing and getting much richer, as you can tell by just looking at the tones and colors of what everything is doing. I am. I'm looking doing. at that. It's a beautiful pattern, by the way, but yeah. that lantern is giving me a very... Um, Isn't that beautiful? Oh, it's beautiful. It's very rustic. It's yes. very like Little House on the Prairie That's meets right. a little bit of the modern... But you put that uh -huh. into a very beautiful contemporary dining room table Yeah. and all of a sudden what happens is you know, it stands out mm -hmm. and it becomes an element in its own, which is one of the things I always try to tell people. Yeah. You know, they get everything out and then you don't see any one thing. Right. I always say, you know what, pull everything back, put it in your cupboard, and for everything you put out, you don't put anything else out until you exchange it. Right. And that way you give presence to each of those pieces mm. so you can really enjoy it. Right. You know? So less is more. Less like you don't is want best. clutter, yeah. Less is definitely best, right? right? So now you, we were talking earlier as well and you were a, f a former model and it's still That's a model right. and uh, and a stylist a fashion stylist That's right. and you were telling me how uh, fashion and home decor end up kind of intertwining they always do. and always. is that kind of the trend like the fashion it always that has see? been yeah. like that and then you see the same yeah. colors and the same styles coming in absolutely the, yeah, so and it, it's interesting now because actually I've just uh, did a, a recent show for City Line for Fashion Friday yes and it, the vibe you and I were laughing it's very uh -huh. 70s again you know uh, and it's <laughs> There's a lot of like, you know, it's got this bohemian vibe right, about right. it, which is really what's happening in interior uh -huh. design as well. Right. And the color palettes and the richness, it's all there. So, yeah, no, I think that um, when you're in that world, mm -hmm. I've never just been one thing. Right. I was never just a model or ever just, you know, into fashion and, and that. I was always into home decor as well Everything. because they cross yeah. over. Right, right. So I never, you know, I never said I, there was one thing I could do. I always tried everything. Yeah, absolutely. It was more fun that yeah, way. Yeah, you're good at a, a bunch of stuff. I love Why it. not do it all? I love so it. So talking about um, fashion, mm -hmm. and I've also seen the bell bottoms coming in, which oh. actually, strangely enough, I like bell bottoms for some reason. You know reason. what? <laughs> They're very flattering. They are. And you know what? <laughs> okay, just remember, right? So when you have wider around the leg wider yes, yes. okay actually what it does it's is slim. everything from them becomes slimmer right so your hips appear it's a visual thing your hips appear slimmer just because it it bells out at the bottom yep, yep. and if worn properly and yeah. you have the right height of shoe right it can it they it's look beautiful. fantastic right oh no they look so great. now taking the 70s is that bringing wallpaper back let's oh. talk a little bit about that like because I know that the 70s were absolutely full of, yeah actually so, I've seen wallpaper it's been making a return for the last mm -hmm. few years but interestingly enough I remember as a kid my mother uh -huh. had grass cloth right and grass cloth is that very beautiful texture it almost looks a little bit like this but even more uh -huh. and you're I, I mean I'm a fan of grass cloth and you could walk into a beautiful bathroom or front hall mm -hmm. and it's it has a richness about mm -hmm. it and so yes absolutely wallpapers are coming back you know uh, good luck if you if you don't know how to hang it you're in big <laughs> trouble because right. it's got to be straight folks right <laughs> it's not an easy thing right. but I love the fact uh -huh. that you know, there's a more of an, a sort of a richness to right. the whole environment. It's yeah. great what's and happening. And you've done so much decor and design. We're going to yeah. look at a couple of your pictures here. Oh, and sure. You've done, I know that you yeah. do City Line regularly. You've done a lot of segments. Let's talk about this picture yeah, here. Yeah, beautiful bedroom. Yeah. Actually, this was nice. I love this because it was a lower 
almost sort of a, a Japanese inspired yes, bed that yes. sat very close to the floor. Mm -hmm. And so therefore all everything had to be proportionately working with that height of bed. Right. And I'd never worked with such a low bed before, but mm. I loved it. It had this really serene, beautiful kind of feel. And then I gave that centerpiece, that wonderful, I got that from the MoMA in New York, and that is uh -huh. a, a repro of an Andy Warhol, Marilyn Monroe oh, wow. uh, piece framed. This actually I did for Patricia Lovett Reed. It's oh, wow. a, a bedroom. It was in Canadian House and Home magazine, and it got rated sort of the top bedroom, which was really very Excellent. flattering. And I'm seeing all the colors that you brought into the studio That's right. as well. You've got all the mustards yeah. and the oranges. And look behind, actually, what really was interesting about this is on the wall behind I hung a, car a carpet. Oh, wow. So I you have the headboard, and then behind it, see the black lines? That's actually a beautiful Moroccan carpet on the wall which gave it great texture mm. and used it as a piece of art versus as a carpet I love that you just yes. totally you know think yeah. outside the box Absolutely. you don't have to follow rules and yeah. mixing textures and mixing fabrics mm. like this in oh, the this same nice. color tones yeah. but look at the organic beautiful mm -hmm. feeling about it I mean you just want to lie on that bed right, it, just, right. it calls you because it looks so rich right. and enveloping doesn't it's it? a little bit more masculine though yes, I would say but right? that's more, nice too just, yeah no but I like yeah. that but depending on your home and your environment and right. everybody loves different things this actually was a living room I did for Marilyn Dennis. Oh wow. And uh, she moved into a beautiful, oh, beautiful so home. And uh, just, you know, it was a smaller space, more formal. And so we really made that center point, that beautiful, mm -hmm. it's almost like a bleached birch, almost kind of a buffet, but gave the height with those beautiful lamps. I love those it lamps. It looks like a large space the way I that know. you've kind of spaced yeah. it out. But Amazing. You know why that is, of course. Yeah. Remember, when you use lighter colors, like mm. a white, right. it makes a space look bigger. Same in clothing. Right, right. If you want to make an area of your body look bigger, wear white. white or a lighter color. <laughs> yeah. If you want to make it look smaller wear or a, a room look smaller, Absolutely. you wear a darker color. Right. And if you wear a pattern, it looks really big. Right, okay, right. Depending on how large it is. So color is really interesting and how you work with it makes a huge difference. Right, right. Especially the color you paint the walls. Yeah, amazing. We're going to take a yeah. short break. Yeah. I could just do a whole show with this <laughs> lady. So we're going to take a short break. We're going to come back with lots of design advice Great. from Lisa Rogers. So stay tuned, guys. Lots more to come. Don't go anywhere.